So we're in here in this 2017 Subaru. This is the air conditioning. This is the high side pressure. This is the low side pressure. This is idle. See idle right here, very nice and smooth. We're at 24 PSI. We're at 138 PSI. Now this is where I took the idle up to a little over 2000 RPM. So I took it over just a little over 2000 RPMs. And this is what it looks like over 2000 RPMs. Now I believe this is a variable displacement compressor, but it's not electronically controlled off duty cycle. It has a manual valve. I have not looked up the part number on this compressor, but I could see the valve housing on the outside and I could feel the valve from underneath. I'll go outside and show you that in a minute. But as you can see here, let me turn it this way. See if I could catch all that. It's going over 200 PSI now. I have it over 2000 RPMs. We're sitting here. The hood is up. My pressure transducers are connected. And as soon as I went from idle to over 2000 RPMs, this is what it looks like. Now you can see that the high side upper and lower limits are gradually climbing. But you can see that the low side has not moved a bit. It cycles, but it's not gradually climbing with the high side as the high side goes up. The low side is staying low. Let's uh, take a look at the temperatures. Let's get right here. Now there's idle, 43 degrees, 43 degrees. And that's outside ambient temperature. And you can see as the fan pulses off and on, you can see the outside because there's some air cycling around in there. So now you can see that the clutch is probably cycling out there. We'll go out and we'll check that out. And uh, actually I can't because I got to let off the throttle and I'm going to lose that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Unless I get a, uh, a rod to go from the throttle and hold against the seat or the steering wheel to hold the throttle up i'm not going to be able to do that on this one but i just wanted to let you see see that and what we had here was this 2017 toyota trex and on this trex it came in with only 15 psi of refrigerant and uh, i filled it up for testing looking for leaks and stuff i did notice somebody worked on this before can you see the glowing under the cap somebody added dye in here so somebody worked on this and didn't tell anybody they worked on it i don't see it in the high side cap and i didn't see it there so it's one of those people who probably just have the little can and put it in through the low side only it's a good chance of that and so that is the scenario we have right here it's a 2017 so it's not that old and i was looking for the obvious leaks around the fittings like all but here's uh the valve body right here here's the compressor and if you look down there, you can see, if you get used to the valve in there, no, I can't. Uh, let's see. It's going to get all the way down there. And it won't focus. But that's the valve body. I believe it has the mechanical uh, variable displacement compressor control valve inside there. And we'd have to look up the part number to confirm that. And that's it right there. And if you go and look that up on the website, and you go to the manufacturer's website, you can look up that that is a mechanical variable compressor control valve on this uh, AC here. Uh, what else? That's about it. We got the temperature sensors, wireless Bluetooth there, here, in the dash. And wireless sensors here all right guys i'll see you later and let's see we got a uh, 13 superheat 34 subcooling and that's at idle remember it fluctuates when it's off idle and i'll catch you guys later on the next one